Blessings and love. Hello and welcome to Ascension's Love with Alice. It's so wonderful to be here with you. Such a blessing as I um, as I come to you live here to bring through um, some beautiful guidance from the angelic realm, from the celestial realm. We are going to be looking at the week ahead. So um, I'm filming this on Saturday. Um, you may have saw the video that I did last week. We started doing that on a Friday instead of going Monday to Monday, and it just feels better to do it this way. We kind of start with a weekend then. So. Um, I don't even know what dates we're on. Do you know what date it is? Is it 9th? 10th? 10th? It's 10th today, hey? So, okay, we'll go, th we'll go from the 10th <laughs> all the way through to whatever the Saturday is. I'll figure out the dates and put it in the title afterwards. Um, but let's have a little look at what's what may be coming in um, for this week of energy. So we're going to call in all angels, guides, ascended beings of love and light who are here to guide us right now. Um, and you know, we are filming this in this wonderful new moon energy. It's a new moon in Cancer, and this moon is all about love. Be love, let love flow. Um, focus on love. Focus on how you can offer the benefit of the doubt. I've done other videos on this as well, um, especially the um, especially the video that I did last. I think on the maybe it was on my YouTube channel um, about how when people are coming into your life, how you're connecting with people. You know, really focus on seeing the light in them. You know, choose to believe that they are the light. They are. Um, an aspect of you, they are an aspect of the divine. Choose to believe that before you even connect with anyone as you are walking down the street, as you are maybe visiting with friends, with family, as you're taking phone calls, really focus on the light right now. You know, we are in this really wonderful new moon spiral and when when we're at a new moon, you know, it's all about intention setting. It's all about, you know, what are we planting and the soil is fertile right now, you guys. It is so fertile and we're in this really wonderful spiral and it's really taking it down through our heart space, whatever we are planting and um, and manifesting and you know it's a really powerful one for many of the signs right now um, so for many many people because it's not only going to be um, whatever you're manifesting right now for this new moon full moon cycle this lunar cycle but also for the six months ahead as well so until you get to that um, full moon in cancer in six months time right so it's really really important to um, you know and we don't have to overthink it this is the thing it's like whenever we um, manifest or try manifest you know when whenever that word try or you know anything like that comes into it you know that means we're trying too hard right it really is um, it really is about surrendering right this weekend's about surrendering and about focusing on love being love you know I have a beautiful pond behind me a duck pond and um, <laughs> Some of the uh, inhabitants of that pond are having a little bit of fun and playing. I can hear them splashing up and down in the water. And that's what it's all about this weekend coming. So, um, or this weekend where, where we're at, I should say. Really allow that light to move through you and clear as well. It's such a healing time, you know, especially around the home, especially around the, the mother energy, that mother daughter energy within oneself, regardless of your gender, your anatomy, it doesn't matter. We all have that divine feminine energy and we all have a mother at some point we've had a mother we have a mother um, someone you know gave birth to us right we came from the womb and there is a lot of this womb healing right now so it's being felt not only in that heart space but it's connecting the heart womb it's a, their one thing right it's that column of light and in the run-up to this week you know there was a lot of healing happening there was a lot of things coming up to clear upon and this weekend that we're in right now is just allowing yourself to be into flow there there really is this energy of flow and allow it and <sighs> allow yourself to choose to give yourself and everything around you the benefit of the doubt have fun play laugh laughter is so important i was um i was just somewhere having a um you know a drink um in one of the cafes that uh, that are open now and there were so many people that were just carefree you know having so much fun and all we could hear was laughter and it was such a beautiful sound you know be that laughter really embody that because as we as we go through the week, we've got all this Christ-like energy that will be coming in. We will receive, and it'll activate us within our sacral chakra. It'll be kind of like, it'll feel like Leo energy, right? And you know, the sun hasn't moved into Leo yet. We've still got another week and a bit um, before that happens, but it's kind of like, you're gonna feel that Leo energy, that courage, that kind of playfulness, that creativity coming in. So as, um, as we go through this weekend where we're just being and flowing, that creates the space. It's gonna create the space and the, um, it's going to create the void within you to be able to receive and then to instead of 
instead of connecting with the logic side where there needs to kind of be control and plan and things like that it's just going to allow that energy to then start to move through us and it goes from our heart space it goes down into that womb and that's what's going to happen for the next few days of the week right as this orange energy comes in as this leo energy this courageous energy this kind of vitality energy this um you know you're going to feel energized over the next few days you really really are um and that's really really wonderful and but what's going to be interesting is that, and as always this happens, as we are in a world of duality, a world of polarity right now, until we all ascend, right? Until we all collectively ascend. And remember this, although our ascension journey is our own, we came here to live our highest timeline, because we are all connected, you know, every other person you interact with is an aspect of you and of God, of that inf infinite being, right? That is here in physical form, another divine um another divine embodiment another physical embodiment of your divine being right and when we kind of have that in focus it really really helps things just come together right to really yeah words fail me right now come together in the most beautiful way because by the end of the week by the thursday friday more so i'm here in friday saturday of this coming week you know we may feel like it's going to be a little bit um more trying a little bit more testing you know there may be a little bit of um maybe a little bit of contrast for us, right? A little bit of energy that might feel a little bit heavy coming in by the end of the week, right? And that's okay, that is because we've just absorbed all this light with the new moon, we've just absorbed all this light and we've just allowed it to run through us and just to play. And by the end of the week, you know, it's highlighted shadows that need to release, right? So they move out of our body, they move out of our inner bodies and they come to the surface, right? So by the Friday, Saturday, you know, we may see this represented in the outer world. We may see this represented in authoritative figures and, you know, kind of um, collective governing bodies, for example. So you may feel that there will be, uh, or then you may see there is an announcement. You may see that there is, you know, something that comes across on the collective kind of mainstream thing by the end of the week, right? And that's okay. That's okay. Just observe it, witness it, but remember that innocent remember that joy remember that love remember and allow that to flow through you like that is all you know like that is all you know because that really is all we know that really is all we are as we are just love spiraling dancing weaving you know being flowing experiencing you know connecting that is all we are and when we focus on that any contrast that comes up um you know we, it doesn't it doesn't feel as heavy as what it could do for other people because we are grounded in our love we are anchored in our love we are connecting solely with our light and when we do that it's not that we deny any of the contrast that comes in it's we experience it and i did that video on triggering hey watch that vi video on triggering because that shows um we talk about how we acknowledge that and honor whatever may come up right and it's going to look a little bit different for each person but um it's kind of like it feels like by the end of the week there may be something coming in that's going to feel like a, like a box being put around us again, okay? But it's remembering that no box can ever be put around us unless we say, hi, please place these bars around me. You know, only if we consent is that going to happen, right? Only if we um, agree and draw it in is that going to happen. So when we focus on love, our reality is created from that space, from that heart space, right? But if we focus on anything else, on what the perceived reality might be for another person who may live in a very different reality to us, then we tend to adopt that, right? So really know your reality. That's the message of this week. Know your reality because by the end of the week, it's um, your seeds that you've planted on this new moon. They're going to start to grow. They're going to start to germinate, right? And we want them to really be in the best environment possible. Right? And that environment is from the heart space, from that love space, connecting then through to the womb space. Right? The void of no thing. We don't have to know anything. We just have to allow it to be. Right? We just have to let it be. Allow it to be. You know. So I'm sending you all so much love. This is just a short and sweet one. Um, get outside. Laugh and love. Laugh and love. Laugh and love. That's the message of this week. Laugh and love. Right? Be in that flow. Allow the Divine Mother to release whatever she needs to release, anything that's maybe been wounded or distorted that you may not have seen before. You may see this showing up in your connections with um, people that have maybe taken on matriarchal roles in your life, teacher-student type of roles. You may see this coming up, right? Where it's now gonna move to an equilibrium and a balance. And that's a really good thing because we are all equal. We are all the Divine, 
Okay. So I'm sending you all so much love and I just want to say a huge shout out and thank you to the beautiful kind souls that um, that watch these videos and especially when you see them on YouTube and there is a donation link um, in that uh, description box. Uh, if you are one of the beautiful souls that donated um, as a gratitude, as a thanks, um, may that abundance return to you multifold and thank you so much. It is felt so deeply within my heart space and, um, and I send you all so many blessings for the rest of the week. Enjoy it. And for anyone wishing to book a one-to-one -one session, I have slots open. Right now I'm booking from the 22nd, I think we're booking from. So angelic guidance, um, mystery schools, um, sacred sexuality uh, guidance, um, or quantum healing, right? Clearing the karma and uh, really manifesting that highest timeline, right? That cellular rewrite. If any of those call to you, feel very welcome to reach out. It's always an honor to serve. So much love. Bye for now.